Hello and welcome back to another mod video. This time it's going to be one for the Hunters. And now we're going to be looking at a very cool mod which is called JS Hunter Bar. You can access um, stuff by typing in slash JSHB. So, what does this mod do? Well, it tracks your abilities, it tracks your focus, and it gives you rotation suggestions. It's very useful for... Um, it's very useful for sort of tracking when spells are off cooldown and that kind of thing. So, just so I can give you an idea of what's going on, I'm going to fly over to the Vale City and we can look at the target dummy. So, if you can see um, right above my stance bar here, uh, it's, it's just faded. When you're not in combat, it fades a little bit, which is nice because it helps uh, maintain a sort of clean and cool UI. Now, what it does is... Um, it has a full focus bar. Now the really cool thing is that there's a little line in the focus bar and that line is wherever, you can customize where that line is or add more if you want, but you know, currently that, uh, you can probably see it there, that uh, white line, that shows the amount of focus I need for my main signature shot. So that means that I'll never be under focus. Now above the hunter bar, sorry my cast bar is obscuring a little bit, but above the hunter bar you can see my abilities that are off cooldown, and they are in a priority order from left to right, with of course left being the highest priority. So as you can see, as a hunter, very damn useful. Because what it lets you do is, you know, your eyes are at your character's feet, which are a good place for them to be. Of course, I wouldn't recommend you look at this only, you know, you'll probably die if you do that, you know, stand in the fire or something. But, very cool mod, very handy for a hunter. Now you can see there's cooldown bars underneath. They slide from right to left. Uh, the little icons slide from uh, right to left, which you know tells you when they expire and that kind of thing. Now another cool thing, and uh, I'll just stop combat here. Another cool thing is that it will track your CCs. So if I go and find, I don't know if this will work on a target dummy, but I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I just need to find my traps. This is the one bit about being a hunter, I always it's my head and trying to find all the different things. Uh, yes, freezing trap. Um, yeah, so, use your trap and then you will hopefully trap something. And as you can see, it has this little trap indicator, which appears, and that will, it's very handy for telling you when your various um, CCs are coming off cooldowns. So this is really good in a fight where your job is to monitor CCs on a target. Well, in this case, you have a nice timer. It tells you what you need. And uh, yeah, it's good. So I'm just going to take a look at the um, at the config menu. So go to move frames. This will show you the different things they have. So ah, go away. <laughs> okay, well, this frame is refusing to move. That's very strange. Uh, slash J S H B. That's better. Now, um, yes. Yeah, so, uh, in terms of settings, you can change like the text, the different crowd control things, change the icons, size, stuff like that. The power bar is this main sort of thing. It shows your current energy number and stuff like that. As you can see, a whole bunch of different options, which is really nice. You know, it'll track your trank shot. Aspect indicator, master's call, misdirection, timer bars, it'll even give you alerts, stuff like that, and of course that's profile support. It's all very good, and it allows you to do a lot of things. Now I'm just going to hit the move frames button. Now, what this shows you the different things there are. There's um, an enrage alert, and a removable buff alert, but really the useful things are your timer bar, your power bar, and your second timer bar. The power bar is the main thing, which you've seen, crowd control, is what I showed you earlier, uh, where it tracks all your CC cooldowns. This little slider here called Timer Bar 2. That is um, all of your like buffs and stuff. You know, they'll move from right to left to show you when they uh, when they end. And overall that's that's pretty much the mod. Essentially it's it's not it's not essential to being a hunter, but it's a very useful tool and what it does is it provides you with lots of information in a really compact and easy to manage format. If we just if we just go into combat, as you can see, everything you need is there. Um, say you've forgotten to use an ability. Say, like, right now I've forgotten to use uh, Dire Beast. Well, as you can see, it's there. It's the first thing on the list. So it will remind me that I have to use it. So, see, there's times you'll sort of fuck up your rotation. And it's really handy for actually helping you get back. 
um, back into your proper rotation. It's it's very good. It has numeric representations for every cooldown, so it's it's great, very easy to track. Now it's probably not the best way to track your buffs. Uh, there's other mods like Tell Me When and stuff like that, which could be better. But I think as an overall package, it really does an excellent job. And as a hunter, I'd recommend this to pretty much everyone. So that's it for this episode. The next time, I'll probably be looking at Spellflash or Omni CC because they're both very cool mods. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.